In Korea, cooking is really a family affair. This is the 300-year-old farming compound of the Cho family. They've been passing down recipes from generation to generation, and today, they're passing it along to Chef Michael Anthony and me. We're gonna learn how to make a celebratory rice cake. The rice cakes called songpyeon are used to celebrate special family occasions. Songpyeon are made with these natural ingredients as fillers and these beautiful flowers and herbs as coloring. So what's the process from this to that? So we're gonna add this pomeria juice. Pomeria is a flower that she grows. She adds it to the rice flour. This mass forms a dough. It's about as dense as a pasta dough. This herb called suk will be blended and chopped and folded into this dough. And then the coxcomb which will be pounded and wow. ground and into this dough. So all the doughs are about the same, it's just the, the fillings that change. Once again, we have completely fresh ingredients. Is that the way food gets made in New York? You know, I think that chefs are trying to act in a hyper-local way. They're trying to make under-manipulated food so that tastes like the place that it comes from. Um, the only thing that we don't have is 600 years of tradition. Mrs. Cho, thank you for this breathtaking meal. It's a real privilege to have seen the ingredients so fresh right there and how they correspond to the colors. You absolutely know what it's going to taste like, which isn't really the case with processed foods. And it was all grown right here. It's just, it doesn't get more meaningful than that. This is a celebration feast that you would have with your family. Thanks for letting us in your family. I'm so enjoying the flavors of Korea and cannot wait to continue this taste adventure back at home. 